Hey, this is TJ with uh, ShopBot Tools, and if you have one of the desktops that came with the installed spoil board, and then you have now trimmed the deck, the next thing we'll be doing is cutting the uh, quick jig. And what the quick jig is, is a series of little clamping parts that we'll have cut into the spoil board, and these jigs will be useful to help uh, hold your parts in place while cutting. All right, now we're gonna be cutting holes into the spoil board for our quick jig, and our machine will drill out these 3 8 uh, diameter holes right into the spoil board and that will be the locations for all of our mounting pieces. Alright, we're going to go locate the file for the quick jig so we can load that up. Just verify that you have zeroed your X, your Y, and your Z axes and you have your bit properly installed. At that point, we can now go to cut part and this is where we need to go and locate the file. And we're looking for our folder that says our quick start files and this is in the basic deck and this is the quick jig dowel holes by clicking it it loads it down here and then when we hit start we are now at the point where we're going to run the file by clicking start it's going to prompt us if we have the right bit in the spindle have we zeroed our z-axis and when you've done these, you can go ahead and proceed on and finally make sure that your VFD is on if you are a spindle and your router is on the on position if you are a router and then click OK. We've just drilled our six holes into our spoil board for our quick jig. So these holes fit the dowels that come with it. Start by placing the four here in the corner and installing the corner jig piece. So this jig piece now is centered over zero zero. Our material blanks will come in, hold in place, use the other dowels out here And these slide down in and push up against with a wedge system and wedge this board into this corner. Now, if I try to move this, the board is attached to the ShopBot spoil board and we're now able to make our cut because we're properly held to our machine.